Adaptation is the key to survival in this ever-transforming world. Over the course of a lifetime, a person experiences many changes in circumstances that naturally occur as we grow old. Rapid technological progress also dramatically shapes the way we communicate, move around, and fulfill our desires and most basic needs. We need to constantly adjust our learned behaviors to accommodate these changes in our surroundings. However, elderly people find it especially difficult to cope with changes, and yet they often face important transitions in their lives, such as retirement, disability, or relocation, all of which require a great deal of adaptation. But why are aged individuals less able to flexibly adapt their actions to fulfill their goals as youngsters do? The question that we wanted to address in this study uh, was how this memory rigidity in old individuals affects this goal-directed performance, as this is especially important because it can impair their capacity to adjust their behavior to new demands in the environment. So specifically, we wanted to investigate the changes in the brain that occur with normal aging that have these negative effects on adaptation and that can potentially keep old people from achieving their needs. We built on previous work conducted in the laboratory of Professor Bernard Berlin, where we studied a neuronal circuit that linked the thalamus with the striatum, and we found that it played a critical role in interleaving previous memories with new information in order to adapt goal-directed action to a change in conditions. This neural pathway is comprised of the paraphysicular nucleus of the thalamus, projecting its glutamate axons to the dorsomedial parts of the striatum the brain structure principally involved in goal-directed action. In this striatum, a specific group of cells show preference in receiving these axons. These cells are known as the cholinergic interneurons and comprise less than 2% of the neurons found in the striatum. This makes them particularly difficult to study. We first found evidence in all mice that this thalamostratal system was specifically altered by normal aging. So we found that there was a reduced uh, density of thalamic terminals in the stratum and the activity of stratal cholinergic interneurons appeared to be altered. So these results suggested to us that the uh, function of this thalamostratal pathway in adjusting goal-directed behaviors could be affected in aged mice. So we designed a series of experiments that allowed us to compare the ability of young and aged mice to adapt to previously learned goal-directed behaviours. In order to achieve this, we trained the mice to press two different levers. We called these Action 1 and Action 2, in order to obtain two differently flavoured food pellets, Outcome 1 and Outcome 2. After two weeks of training, we presented these animals with one type of pellets and allowed them to eat as much as they wanted. And then we subjected them to a choice test immediately afterwards. So, if the mice had correctly learnt the two different action-outcome relationships in training, they should have no problem in choosing the lever that provided the non-sated outcome. We found that both young and aged mice had no problem in knowing which lever was providing them with the reward they just ate, and which one could provide them with the other, now preferred, outcome. But then we swapped these action-outcome relationships. The action that was initially providing outcome 1 would now deliver outcome 2, and vice versa. We found that, after several days of training, young mice were able to adapt to these new conditions. They would continue to choose the non-sated lever with the same ease as in the first test. By contrast, aged mice appeared to be confused. They seemed to be unable to know which lever was which and showed a conflicted choice between both levers. Our experiment showed that aged animals were unable to integrate new information with previous learning and therefore they were incapable of adapting their learning to a change in conditions. But in order to confirm that this effect was due to an age-related dysfunction of the thalamostriatal pathway, we needed to mimic the same behavioural deficits, but in younger mice. We used selective ablation techniques based on toxicogenetic approaches to remove the 2% of target cholinergic interneurons from the brain in young mice, without altering any other neuron in the striatum. As in the previous experiment in aged mice, the cholinergic interneuron depleted mice were able to establish the initial action-outcome associations, 
However, in the very last test, once the action outcome contingencies had been inverted, cholinergic engineer on depleted mice showed the same behavior as the one previously observed in aged mice. They were unable to identify which liver provided sated outcomes and which one provided the now preferred outcomes. We then wonder how malfunction of such a small proportion of neurons in the striatum could have such a dramatic effect on goal directed um, learning. So it's well known that cholinergic interneurons modulate the striatal projection neurons, which is the largest population of the striatum that relays information to downstream circuits. So then we decided to perform a fluorescence microscopy study of the activity of these projection neurons in animals that had been performing the uh, behavioral task. We detected a fluorescence activity marker in over 30,000 striatal projection neurons throughout the stratum, and we found that in age mice there were significantly less neurons that appeared activated following the behavioral task. Interestingly, in those mice in which cholinergic neurons had been removed, the activation of striatal neurons was also dramatically reduced, which strongly suggested that deficits in cholinergic activity due to normal aging affects the functioning of the stratum during the adjustment of cold directed action. In summary, this study shows for the first time that normal aging affects the ability of animals to adapt goal-directed actions when changes in the environment occur. These results further our understanding of the neural changes that may contribute to a decreased adaptive capacity in normally aged individuals. Finding strategies to detect and overcome these difficulties in otherwise healthy aged people is critical to promote the health and well-being of the elderly.